And we're back. It's been a little bit too long, I must admit. You know, I have a couple of you fine fellas reaching out, making sure that the Neil Bone's okay, because you haven't heard or seen a video in a while, and we're doing just good, man. You know, I actually went out, caught a nice PB. Finally got a new PB. We caught a bass that weighed five pounds, five ounces on an ad rig. Yeah, I just put it in this video. I, I didn't really have a fishing video that day because, you know, things weren't going good and we kind of caught them just at the freaking, by the skin of our teeth, all right? But anyway, we're going to check out some baits in today's video, get to it. And maybe I'll put a little montage of uh, different fish catches. I have a lot of good stuff that I didn't bring to the forefront. Sometimes you go out there, you get go out to get a video, and, uh, you know, maybe the day doesn't go so good, but something cool happens or something funny happens. I've got some moments captured on camera that if, uh, you know, I didn't have a camera, it'd be... It would be uh, just built in a memory, but we got this, and uh, i got to share some of these memories with you guys. But anyway, we're going to check out some stuff that I got. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff. That's been a problem. I just don't know which ones to do. I'm thinking, do we do Amazon? Stuff I picked up off of Amazon? Yeah, we could do that. Or let's just look at baits. Let's get to it. I'll tell you where I got them as we go through. Stay tuned. That guy looks like me right there. I was just checking out the bait there. All right, so I got some stuff from Amazon, some stuff from Walmart. Now, check this out, right? I went on Amazon uh, a couple days ago, right? And I seen the Chigger Crawl Max Scent, like 286 or something stupid like that, right? I'm like, that's a freaking good deal right there. I placed freaking an order for four packs of those suckers, right? It was like 12 bucks or something like that, right? So I'm like, heck yeah, man, I'm getting like four packs of Chigger Crawls Max Scent on a cheap. Now, when I go on Amazon, I don't just go on there with a mission. I just shop around for cheap stuff. I might spend 10 bucks. I might spend 20 bucks. Never, uh, I never really drop too much money, you know? That's where I go when I don't feel like getting to that $50 price point on Tackle Warehouse to get free shipping because I just hate freaking paying for shipping. I'm a Prime member, so I get on there and I look around for baits, right? So I place an order for four packs of Chigger Crawls. This is what they give me. This is what comes in the, in the, uh, in the package there. We got some freaking grubs. But I'm not upset about it. Still a pretty good deal for the grubs, you know? It was like, yeah, like 11 or 12 bucks or whatever. So I'm like, that ain't bad. I knew something was off because it said, it showed what I ordered. It showed the picture of the crawl, right? And I'm like, cool. And then it said, being shipped. And then it showed a freaking grub. I'm like, all right. And it shows a 10 count. I'm like, we're definitely getting grubs because the chigger crawls don't even come in a 10 count when it's in a max scent. But we do got freaking four packs of these suckers, right? And as you know, we have the, uh, what I call the appreciation box. It kind of messed the box up. I tried to like write appreciation on there to give it a, kind of a name for, uh, you know, just as I go through stuff and show you guys things, you know, throw a little something in a box when it fills up, then we, you know, pick a winner. But uh, one thing that's really nice about this grub though, is it does smell very strong. Like if you ever noticed the chigger crawls when it comes to power bait, they, they're like strong. Do super stinky compared to the other power baits, and this one has that effect going on. A very soft plastic here, it's super smelly, like I said. And uh, so, I think what we're gonna do is uh, we have the see, this is where I kind of messed it up, you know. I think I started spelling it wrong or something. I don't know, you know, things happen, you know. But so far in this box, we have a uh, a lipless. We have the hot tamale spine crawls there. We have the big Guggen darts. It's a fluke bait, green pumpkin purple. We have a little finesse swim jig. We have the Slim Fish, the Johnson's All Water, multi-species bait right here. Nice spoon. It even has a nice... Oh, I thought I had a swivel. I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like they used to have swivels. But if it don't have a swivel, put a swivel on there. Keeps it from tangling up. We got a football jig there. Very nice. I mean, that's a very nice colorway too in there. We got all kinds of purples and stuff there. 
got this sucker here this is very good this you want it nice and heavy this is a half an or three quarter ounce which is even better because you cast out with a like crawl on there you roll it and you just think of it as like a lipless like you, you got to work your lipless get down on the bottom then you're ticking off the rocks that's where you get the bites that's what this is this turns a soft bait into like a crank bait and they work very well and we got a acme v-rod blade bait so far in the appreciation box and as you see it's getting pretty full there but uh i think it's pretty worthy to throw in a pack of grubs so there we go we got a pack of green pumpkin grubs and i'm telling you freaking the grub think of it like a swim bait it was a swim bait before a swim bait they're awesome they catch fish you throw a jig head on there you could you could throw ewg there's so much stuff you could do with it with it they're even good trailers so got that right and then these were like dirt cheap right on amazon i picked up some rage crawl chunks i got four packs here got a lot of chunks got more chunks than i'll ever need because a lot of times I, i'm a big fan of using the chigger crawl as a uh, jig trailer just love it it just slaps it gets it done but let me show you guys this there you go you get seven to a pack here now these are nice because striking got the coffee scent and uh, I was examining these suckers closely, and I was seeing these things that resemble grind-up coffee grounds. And I was looking through them, I'm like, they do. They put live coffee, well, not live, they're definitely not live, but they put coffee grounds in the, uh, their plastics is what I'm guessing, to help give it that coffee scent. All right. Show you this guy. Where's his eyes at? there we go some nice slapping claws you can see they have the ridge there and we're gonna uh, we're gonna revisit the bait booth we're just gonna do it like this i just feel like being in front of the camera and like because uh this dude right here freaking is trying to dress up like me and i don't like that i had this outfit first but uh there we go good old chunk there so we're going to definitely have to throw one of these up in the appreciation box, all right? Now, this is worth the real estate in a box. I don't want to just throw in a bunch of weird stuff and take up room and, you know, try to bulk up the box with less bait. But this is very necessary because we do have some jigs in there that you're going to need a chunk for, all right? And that little swim finesse jig, you could always throw that grub on there if you want. Well, hello there. What are you doing? Hi. Hey. I didn't know you were making a video. Of course. I'm a busy bee. Hmm. So we're going to throw this up in here. And uh, as you see... Hi, y'all. Get out of my video. <laughs> get out of my video. What are you doing? It costs money to be in this video. Oh, shit. If you got $5, you can come in. I got $5. Well, no, you come don't. In. should get cash first. All right. We just want to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Get out. All right. Bye. I love you. I love you too. All right. Oh. So you got me all thrown off here. All right. So we got the uh, the chunks up in there, right? Because you're going to want to keep things nice and chunky on the water. All right. Now. Yeah. Four packs. It was like, heck yeah. I like five packs. Holy crap. I'm telling you, it was a really good deal. Now, check these out. These are pretty cool. I have actually went out to go fish with this to make a video on this, but it was just like at that time where things were transitioning and it was getting darker earlier. I couldn't get anything on it. But this is from a company called Trust. What is it? Trusen? Trusten? Trusten? They got cool baits. They're like doing their thing on Amazon. I think you could only buy them on Amazon. But, uh, man, fishing doesn't have to be expensive. You could definitely get everything you need on a budget. I mean, a swim jig's a swim jig. And I could tell you, I got these for like $9.99. So that's uh, five swim jigs right there. Every color you would ever really need. You got your natural clear water color, your more stained water, stained water, more everything natural even that works great in clear water but check this out now we're still going to do a test on these suckers but um 
So these here, these little tassels really sold me. When I seen it, I seen it hanging out there. Let me get a darker one. So it shows a little better. There we go. So I was like, that's really freaking cool right there. And they come with BKK hooks, which are very nice hooks. They're even Teflon coated. Now they do have this uh, wire keeper here that you would go like this, slide under the hook. Now my thing with this was I wasn't sure, that's why I wanted to do a review. I wasn't sure if this was going to impede your hook set, you know, because I feel like if a fish comes over to the side, he goes to chomp it. Is this wire going to get stuck there and you miss your fish? So what I did was I took, as you see, this one here is very slender, right? So it would get stuck a lot easier, you know? I took the wire. I spread this out. This wire, too, is actually, uh, what is that metal? That's very light, super strong titanium. It has a titanium wire, right? So I did bend that out there. So it kind of slips out more easy either way. But if that didn't work out, what I was going to do is just kind of leave it like this. Maybe even cut this little wire here and just have two little metal wires. But let's, uh, the uh, hooks are sticky. So it has a nice bait keeper on it. Damn skirt. There we go. It has a nice wire bait keeper. As you can see, you can see the Teflon coat. It's a BKK hook. It looks like a very nice hard still there. The head of this sucker looks freaking off. It puts the weight on the bottom there. We fished this one, but I love this head style here. It's like a little goby. It's, if this is the cat buddy, this is why you haven't been seeing me make videos. He is a pain ass. He's been doing nothing but freaking raining. He goes outside. He comes in, he stinks, he wants to touch all my stuff. He'll sit here scratching at the door. He'll get the dog all pissed off. Then you'll hear the dog start barking. Then I hear racket in there. And then my blood pressure goes up. And I just want to kill the cat. That cat's a pain in the ass. I, I wish I never freaking loved him, you know, because he, he's a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's him. Is he all wet? Is the cat wet? Is the cat wet? Yeah, dry him off, please. I don't want him. He's going to be wet and smelly. He smells bad. See, Buddy has a problem. Okay, he's a very furry cat, right? I hate to go off track here. He's a very furry cat, right? So, I think uh, I think the, uh, the cat gods spend a little less time on him. I think he, uh, I think his thing's so small, he pisses on himself, you know? He pees on his balls i guess we could say I, I don't know i don't know why he smells like piss all the time it's like he sprays or something but he's neutered he's fixed you know he got his uh boys cut off but yeah this is a really freaking cool cool deal right here they even have one too that has an ewg hook and it swings it's it's like the um it's like this they have a skirted one that has an ewg hook on there and it has a pretty cool like aspirin shaped head or pill head and it's pretty freaking cool so definitely want to check those out but yeah i thought these things are pretty awesome they come in this pack like this they all have their little tails but i had to i forgot to tell you so i cut the tail i had to cut this off right because i put a paddle tail on there and this was sticking to the paddle tail and it was hindering the action so while it looks cool it's just not practical really you know unless you just fish it by itself but i like to have a trailer on my swim jigs so we got that now wait till you see these other swim jigs that i got these things are freaking pretty darn awesome i was pretty impressed with these i was like this is freaking cool now it's definitely like uh and uh, this is like so cheap this is the brand here who is it x fisherman jig series just look this up on amazon if you're into these i got the three eighth ounce they come quarter ounce three eighth and half ounce but uh this is like kind of like a mega bass type swim jig here you wouldn't think all what is in here is going to come in pop out of here it's like a freaking clown car they just keep on coming so in these little packs 
or swim jigs. Okay, I told you it was gonna happen. Stop it! Uh, I can't stand a dog neither. Uh, I apologize. This is why I don't make videos in here. It's just uh, always something. It's just, you know, sometimes I'll take the time to set everything up, make everything nice, and everything just falls apart, man. Oh, it's so annoying. But anyway, check this out. Check out these swim jigs here. They have a little underspin on it, which is really cool, right? Because it's on this wire, so it's going to be flexible. So if you come over a log, you know, it's going to bend to it. Actually, they have a very nice hook on it. Like, I was impressed. I was looking at this, and everything about it, for the price, nothing about it seems cheap. Like, the hook is sharp. It's a thick hook there. You can see. I mean, I'm bending it. You're definitely going to get a good hook set. That's the bait keeper there. I'm happy with that. Really, honestly, that's all I really need. That, that'll that be just fine. And check out this weed guard here. It's the thicker three strands. So you could just flare these out. Just like that there. I was like, these things are pretty freaking solid. It has a very nice head design. And there's a lot of colors. A lot of really nice colors. So... This is like your blue and chartreuse. Maybe even like a sexy shad. Oh, I forgot to tell you too. They're also hand-tied skirts. It may be hard to see. But, when, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get in there. But they're hand-tied. But nice skirt pattern. So we have this like shad pattern here, like a bluegill, you know? It's like a shad color up here, green pumpkin on the bottom, like a bluegill looking color. Some pretty nice eyes. They try to do the like mega bass stare back. Definitely pretty solid. I mean, they got colors for days. And they're not goofy colors. They're like every color you would really want got some gold there they do they don't change the color of the blade though i thought like maybe they might put a little gold blade on one of them or something like that but three eighth ounce has a nice line tie right there pretty solid now this is like a nice natural shad pattern Look at that, it has some purple iridescence in there, the pinkish purple blue. They actually give you a good swivel too, a ball bearing swivel there. You know, in the water it's gonna spin it, but it's a nice swivel. And we still got more. This is the black and blue one here. And clean them up a bit. Even got some flake up in the head there. Yeah, I was like, this is pretty legit. I believe, uh, yeah, I don't know that this is a titanium wire. It could be, though. I wouldn't be surprised. And then we got this one here. This is kind of like a perch or a goldfish or something. Kind of like a perch pattern with the green stuff. But very freaking solid, man. I was like, wow. And then um, on Amazon, I got these for like four bucks. You know, I never fished a piss of fun braid there, but it's 300 yards, eight pound. It's good for your spinning setups, you know, maybe doing some like uh, ultralight multi species fishing, you know, throwing some little jerk baits and stuff on a spinning gear. Now, I've never fished their braid, but, you know, it looked pretty good. So, this color, blue, just because it was blue, was on sale. And 300 yards, so pretty crazy. You can see the braid seems all right. It does not seem bad. So, picked up two of them. It was like eight bucks for 600 yards of braid. It's like, all right, let's try it out. And uh, 
believe that their braid actually has like pretty good reviews, you know, on Amazon. So, got that. What else we got? Oh, at Walmart. Now we're going over to Walmart. Wait, did I check everything in here? Yeah. I did pick up this too. This braid. This is a Cast King braid. This is uh, on sale for 10 bucks. It is 30 pounds, 300 yards, and it's in a camo color. Been trying it out. It's definitely a real ropey type filling braid. Like you could, for an eight strand, it's a little noisy. You could feel it come through. And it seems a little bit thicker than most uh, 30 pound braids. But I was like, you know what, 300 yards, I mean, that ain't bad. So I have my uh, Tatula rigged up with it. And it's been all right, cast all right pretty good all right but at walmart oh before we move on to walmart we're all over the place here 20 minutes i uh, just uh hope you guys are enjoying this all right this was on uh amazon for like five dollars right and i was like oh wow they're pretty new to sonar minnow what is what are they calling us the power switch uh this is the hd stealth minnow now, I didn't realize it was going to be this heavy. You know, sometimes I just order off of Amazon. This is one and five eighth ounce. Now, let me show you something here. Oh, we're still playing back there. That's pretty heavy right there. But I'm still not afraid to fish this. I think this thing, I, bopping it off the bottom like a lipless casting out, let it hit the bottom. Yank it up, let it hit, hop it. I think this will have no problem freaking getting bit. So, pretty cool bait right there. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know? I've always, uh, you know, been intrigued with these when they came out. I'm like, I don't have no uh, sonar, you know, freaking live scope or nothing. And a lot of stuff's being geared toward live scope. I actually seen a, uh, a thing that... People think that like deep crankbaits and stuff are just going to become a little obsolete because of all this type of stuff, you know. People now are just watching the TV, just jigging a little minnow down there deep, you know. It's like less work than just throwing a crankbait, worrying about getting it down there. But Neil Bone won't have no front-facing sonar thing anytime soon. But over at Walmart, in the beginning of, uh, well, I was going to say beginning of spring, it ain't even spring. But about a couple weeks ago, they had, um, it was all over um, Instagram, like, check out your Walmart, you know, if, you, if you're if you subscribed to some fishing channels on, like, Instagram. They had a lot of stuff on clearance and on sale, so they had the Guggen Baits for $3. It was only the black color. I guess the black color's not selling well, but that's not a problem for me, because I always love, like, a black and blue flake bait, and they always freaking work out great. So we got Kraken Crawls. Now, I got two packs of each, you know. It's like, heck yeah, some Kraken Crawls. That's not bad for $3. I mean, nowadays with the price of baits, you got to get a deal when you could get a deal, you know. I'm not too worried about brands or anything these days. Some people don't like the Guggen stuff. I get it. I think at this point, it's a little old now. Even for me to even say that, people are like, come on, you know? Why, why does... It's almost weird. It almost feels cringy. Like, when you show a Guggen Bay, you almost got to say that or something, you know? But, uh, you know. I always suggest just fish what you like. But look at that thing. They're good. They have a lot of good, great action there. They smell really good. I love the smell of their soft plastics. So, got two packs at a Kraken Crawls. Both in the black and blue flake. So pretty much buy one get one free for six bucks. I got two packs of baits there. And then we got the bandita bug. Two packs of the, these suckers. I even got some. I don't know where they're at. I even got some uh, Gary Yamamoto stick baits. They were also three bucks. I don't know where what I did with them. Man, we're missing some stuff. But check these out. Black and blue flake. 
pretty freaking nice. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video er earlier or anything like that, but we do have the appreciation box. That's just, you know, for you guys watching. And, uh, you know, I know how it is. Sometimes you see people with baits on YouTube or something. You're like, man, I want to try some of this stuff. Maybe you live at a place where it's hard for you to get to the store. Or, you know, maybe the funds ain't that good. I, I try to... We're going to try to do this, you know, just fill the boxes as we go along and just uh, when they fill up with just random stuff, you know, it's not like meant to be the best box in the world or, you know, any thought behind it. It's just, hey, I got this. We're going to throw it in there. You got assortment added to your tackle. But um, you let me know if we should throw one of these in there. Um, so we have a, tell me which one you think you would want, you know, a Kraken Crawl. Or a, uh, what is this one called again? The Bandito Bugs. Alright. And then a Max Scent. It just seemed like the Black Baits. I don't know if it was at my Walmart or all Walmarts, but I guess maybe the black colors don't sell as good. Which is weird to me. You know, Green Pumpkin and Black and Blue is really all you need. But we got the, uh, the Creature Hog here. Now, I'm not going to open these Max Scents up because you got to open them up in a very special way. But I do have something I could show you, like what they look like. In case you haven't seen what they look like. Oh, man. Well, we're not going to waste no time with that. All right, what else we got? All right, I got a bunch of stuff from Ollie's. Yeah, we got some more good stuff from Ollie's. I'm going to save this for a different video. I think it might be a little long, this video anyways, you know. But uh, that's just some of the things I picked up from Walmart, Amazon. Hold on. This is pretty cool. Got some stuff from Timu. Check these out. These are pretty cool. This is a pretty much like a uh, like a Zara Spook, but a soft plastic one. You put an EWG hook. Well, right here is for a rattle. You stick a rattle in there, but you put an EWG hook in here, and you can fish this right through the weeds, the plants, and stuff like that. Very stretchy. So that's pretty cool. I picked up two of these. I think these things are going to be really cool. I think they're going to skip great, like under docks and under trees. Like these things are going to get freaking slept. And then the uh, B and U company on on uh, Timu, they have some nice soft plastics. You know, some people don't like Timu and they get very upset at people who order from Timu, but. Uh, Listen, my whole thing is not everybody's out there got the money like this. So if you're a parent and you got a kid and, you know, you're able to get your kid out there fishing and save you some money and stuff, go for it. I mean, honestly, everything's made in China these days, all right? America really don't make nothing. And the same people complain about this to order the JDM baits. I mean, are, what? We can put our money over in Japan, but we can't keep it in America. But we're mad when we put it over in China. But this thing's pretty cool. So, it's like a little drop shot bait right there. Put your hook through there. And this thing's going to quiver. Or you could even put a jig head in there and fish just like a, on a uh, like a Ned rig. Pretty cool. They, they have such a freaking stinky smell that's like good. I think the fish are going to really love it. And you get a lot in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you get like seven or eight in there. And that's such a beautiful color right there. So I wanted to show you that. And I did get like a little like glove hanger, you know, a little backpack thing that clips to the backpack. But that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I uh, also want to say... Uh, one of our very good subscribers, Shannon Kirby, has lost his mother. She passed away, and uh, it's so sad to hear that. So, uh, freaking Shannon, appreciate you, man. Hope you're doing good. And, um, 
Yeah, he's an awesome dude. So I just wanted to show my love to you, man. I hope you and your family's doing good. And uh, if you guys can, in the comments, you know, just, you know, dap them up, man. Give him a fist bump. He'll be in the comments there. But hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, peace out.